Absolutely. Killing a whale is a tragedy, or a dolphin, or a shark, or anything similar, but they also have a potential to do an enormous amount of damage to the boats, which then risks human life as well. So no one's a winner out of hitting any sort of sea life. So one of the things we're looking at is a warning system or uh, something that will scare the whale. This system potentially uh, can go a long way towards solving the problem. It's software driven, so we're very comfortable with software. We use it a lot on the boats now for navigation. The, it projects well with the 3D image and it gives you the, the ocean floor as well as uh, what's ahead of you right up to the surface. So. From that point of view, it's, it's invaluable. When we started the company, we had a lot of motivation from the environmental point of view. There was an oil spill not too far from here about 12 years ago, where a tanker hit some rocks and spilled a lot of oil on the beach. And we also live right near the endangered uh, right whales. And they basically don't die until ships hit them. We were very interested in developing a technology that could avoid causing oil spills and avoid killing whales. Here we can see colors mapped to depth where red is shallow and blue is deep. We can rotate the 3D image display to really emphasize the 3D perspective and 3D information that we're seeing with the sensor. We have less power than commercial echo sounders that are on board ships all over the world and we're in the same frequency range or higher than the most common uh, echo sounders aboard most ships. And we've had our current products evaluated by the uh, marine Acoustics Group at the National Marine Fisheries Services and they've stated in writing that we have no known environmental impact of any sort with our current products. Uh, in this race we've hit a lot of uh, fishing nets, uh, trees, logs, other things floating on the surface, just general man-made waste and these systems can pick up some of that stuff and the boats can avoid it uh, and then the potential for damage.